how to film yourself in public without fear. So maybe you've seen some of your favorite content creators filming themselves out in public and you think, man, that looks like a lot of fun. I wish I could do that. I wish I had the courage to do that. It's way too scary. It's way too weird if I actually go out there and film in public. Well, there are a couple of tips I'm gonna share with you today that are gonna help you get out there and make awesome videos, awesome vlogs outdoors. And you're gonna have amazing camera confidence. You'll be having a lot of fun. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. So first thing, you want to make sure that you're very comfortable with whichever camera you choose to use to go out there or vlogging or filming yourself in public. This is currently being filmed on the DJI Pocket 3. I have a microphone attached right here because you don't want to have bad audio. Nothing will make people click away from your video like bad audio and lack of story or lack of purpose. All right, so one thing you really got to understand is everyone is self-conscious of the way that they look, the way that they talk, the way that they act in public. People just aren't really going to be looking at you as much as you think they are. And especially if you're just trying to walk down the street just like this, it's not going to be nearly as frightening or as awkward as you think it is. definitely going to want to be warmed up for this. That's why I always like choosing a more quiet street just to get a little bit more, get into the mood of filming and just so that you don't just fumble over your words and then you're worried about a bunch of people. Beware of your surroundings too. And then you're worried about a bunch of people looking at you and thinking, what are you actually doing? Now, this is also something you want to be aware of your surroundings. It can be very distracting and very easy just to focus on what you're doing or focus on what you are actually saying, the story you're trying to tell. And you could be a, be, you could be a very easy target for would-be thieves. So you are going to want to continue to monitor your surroundings. And the good thing about a camera with a screen like the DJI Pocket 3 or any camera that has a flip-out screen, I could actually see who's behind me. So I can monitor if someone is gonna go ahead and come up behind me and think that I'm not totally paying attention. Now with that being said, for filming in public, hold on, loud bus. Filming in public places, you still wanna be able to, you still want to respect people's privacy. If people, let's say people were standing right behind there, you don't wanna sit there or you wouldn't wanna sit there and actually just set up shop and start talking because then they have a camera pointed at them and that's not what they signed up for. Yes, I know. Hold on. So you stay aware of your surroundings. Yes, I know cameras are everywhere nowadays, but you still should respect people, treat people like people, and especially if it looks like someone's having a hard day or maybe they're a little bit less, of, less fortunate of a situation than you are or a lot of us are, just wait till they're out of the frame. Make sure they're not in your background. Don't make people feel more self-conscious about themselves and just be respectful of people's privacy, even though we are out in public. Now, filming in public, you don't have a lot of control over your lighting or over the noise, which is why you always want to have a good audio solution. You always, always, always want to be using an external microphone whether it's a shotgun microphone that goes right on top of one of the Sonys, whether it's a DJI Mic 2 like this, or even a cheap wired microphone. I have a cheap wired microphone from Sennheiser that I use when I'm filming with my phone. It's USB-C, no batteries, makes a huge, huge difference. See this bus right here? Making a ton of noise. You probably can barely hear it because I'm using an external microphone that's super close to my mouth. So you really want to make sure that audio is on point. Now, when you're out filming in public, this is the perfect time to get some B-roll and get some different shots. Use the zoom feature if you have it on the cameras, even though this is not really a zoom, it's a digital zoom. It's still a good way to tell a better story. It makes for a better video versus just having the viewer looking at your face, even if you are a supermodel or you look great. 
It's just gonna be a better video. It's gonna be more fun for people to watch, more fun for you to edit. And it's one of the best things about actually going outside and filming outdoor vlogs. Like this is a church right here. We're just getting some B-roll of, looks absolutely beautiful. This is really where you can have a lot of fun actually filming outside. else you could try is actually placing the camera down and doing a walk-by shot or doing a stationary shot like this. This is a bit hard to do for me since I'm mostly filming outdoors in New York City. I don't want to get my camera swiped as I turn my back on it. So handheld shots or stationary shots of just standing and getting b-roll, almost like a photographer except you hit record, that works for me. The, the stationary shots like this where you plop it down on the ground or plop it down on a table, that works as well. You just want to be really careful because if you have an expensive camera and you place it down on a table in a place like New York City, you may find out that when you turn your back, it's not your camera anymore. And it looks like this street is closed for city streets. Actually pretty cool. See, filming outdoors, I had no idea that this was happening today. So check it out. I found something cool. And now it's in the video, making for a more fun, more interesting video, both for the viewer and you, the creator. Now, if you're out filming and you don't have a car or you're just walking around when you're on vacation or you're walking around a city like I am, you really should consider bringing a backpack or a small bag just with some, bless you, just with some accessories, some batteries, maybe some extra lenses, maybe just an umbrella, just things that way if your battery dies, or you, you want, you've finished filming, you want to put a place to put your film, you want, to put, blah, blah. you want a place to put your camera in when you're done filming, a backpack will definitely help just for the extra batteries you can bring alone. Now follow these tips in no time at all, you'll be making amazing videos, and who knows, maybe you'll be the next YouTube sensation. So that marks the end of all my tips. If you want to stick around and see the rest of this vlog, I'm going to continue filming it since summer streets are happening today. By all means, would love to have you keep watching. If not, thanks so much for watching, and I hope this helped, as I almost tripped. All right, Union Square, let's see what we got. Looks like they just closed down Park Avenue just for a bunch of cyclists to just for a bunch of cyclists and pedestrians to ride up and down. Actually pretty cool. Kind of wish that I was on a bike or on one of my bikes. So I think it'd be pretty cool to do, but still it seems like they weren't riding as fast as I would have liked. Nah. So it looks like we are actually entering Madison Square Park. I haven't been here in a very long time. Pretty cool park. It's nice to see small parks like this in the city. And fun fact, pretty sure the first ever Shake Shack to ever exist opened here in Madison Square Park in New York City. I will have to Google that when I get back to the studio. I'll put it up on the screen if I'm right or if I'm wrong. I thought that was pretty cool to learn when I heard about it a long time ago. New York. Best at everything. Now I'm pretty sure that right there is a flat iron building. It looks like they're doing some sort of construction on it, but overall pretty cool. And here's our subway.
Hey. Hello. What's up? What up? <laughs> Summer Streets 2024. <laughs> 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 nice helmet. Thank you. You're welcome. They give they uh they're giving out free helmets. Um all the way down in Harlem. Um you just you just continue this all the way down. Just go all the way down. Just ah. follow, follow the whole thing. Oh, okay. And uh yeah, there's not much of it that uh, I, last time I went was 2014, 2017? A while ago, yeah. 2017. Summer Streets, 2024. Go now! <laughs>